Day two, Lady Bird Restaurant on East 7th Street in New York City, suggested by my longest time supporter on Patreon and also a girlfriend, Danielle. <sighs> there was something gratifying in reading about the culinary disappointment that is Eleven Madison Park's $335 test run of a vegan tasting menu. Both because critics Ryan Sutton and Pete Wells clearly enjoyed eviscerating a legendary establishment, and because I myself had failed to get a reservation not long before those reviews dropped, so I got to feel vindicated instead of dejected. Because that's a lot of, a lot of money, and I would have been irate. Like, I've never spent even close to that on food or really most things in my life, but at the same time, there was something kind of exciting about the prospect. I want to spend money on experiences more than I do things, right? And one of the most esteemed restaurants in the entire world going plant-based could be a game changer. And honestly, few things make me as happy as a really good meal. So I'm open to spending above my means once or twice a year to get that. And while this is way above as a birthday and Christmas and etc. present, I don't know, you can't take it with you. But that only works as a justification if it's a life-changing experience. And the thing about going plant-based is that you have to really understand the strengths of plants and play to them. They don't taste like meat or feel like meat or function like meat, and they shouldn't be asked to. From the reviews, it's clear that celebrity chef Daniel Hum hasn't quite figured that out yet. And that's a shame in the bigger picture, but as a New York City resident, it also doesn't really matter because there are many chefs here who understand it perfectly. Amanda Cohen was at the forefront of really embracing vegetables when she opened Dirt Candy back in 2008, and she has been a vocal person in calling out media coverage, crediting men for innovating with dishes she is serving for a decade. And we love that energy and hate the fact that it needs to be used that way. But while Dirt Candy is vegetable focused and vegetarian, it's not actually vegan. The vast majority of their dishes can be made so, but that's not really what it's about for Amanda. Overthrow Hospitality, on the other hand, is all about it. The group owns nine bars and restaurants in the city, and their frankly absurd tagline, Eat, Drink, Start a Revolution, bathes pink neon light across the seats of Lady Bird, where Danielle and I went to celebrate New Year's Eve. I've been to Lady Bird four times now, like with the other throw spots in so many restaurants these days, tapas are the name of the game. Get two, maybe three shareable plates per person and have a lovely time. The food has always been great. I have never actively disliked anything, but the Buffalo maitake buns, Brussels sprouts, and truffle mac and cheese are easy winners. The Korean fried broccoli is not quite as delectable as dirt candies, but it doesn't disappoint either. It's just different. It being a wine bar means that sober folks like me don't have many options to drink, but there's always at least one mocktail that I can get and I do get, and it's always pretty good. There has been some inconsistency in service, though. The first time I went, everything came to the table lukewarm. It wasn't bad, it just kind of weird. And at the time, I thought that maybe it was intentional until I went back and it was hot. I went for my birthday in 2020, but because of the COVID of it all, we decided to sit outside in the really fucking cold, which was a mistake on my part. Fortunately, it was still delicious. On New Year's Eve, there was clearly some issue because there was like a 45 minute gap between the first and second courses, but we had nowhere else to be and the apology glass of rosé was nice for Danielle. This was a whole thing for Overthrow. Five restaurants did five course prefix menus, all of which included tickets to a masquerade ball afterwards at one of their bars. We got gift bags with masks and this hilariously fancy entry card, but ultimately decided against it. The food was enough, in a good way. I really hope that some of these dishes get added to the regular rotation. And like, I don't know how to speak critically about food, so I've got no profound descriptions of the interplay of flavors and textures, though I think the middle two courses, carrots and fairy tale eggplant, were the most interesting, in large part because there could be no meaty equivalent. They were the ones that were really about the vegetables, and the eggplant in particular, sesame crusted with harissa, mint, and pine nuts. 
amazing. I'm not a huge eggplant guy, but there was an additional ingredient not listed there, some sort of white cream that cut against the spice of the harissa and really just brought it all together. We ended up getting a second serving of the wonderful carrots with tremula, hummus, pea shoots, and more mint, which I'm pretty sure was a mistake, but actually turned out to be perfect in terms of overall portioning for the meal. I tend to over order at regular restaurants so that I can have leftovers for lunch the next day and then overeat tapas because there's never enough to take home and I don't want to waste food. With prefix, it's not up to me. And I imagine a lot of work goes into deciding how much to give people so that they feel good instead of gross at the other end. And frankly, I'd rather be slightly hungry than too full. And I think they did that well, which wasn't surprising because they do everything well. Eight point five out of ten. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you particularly to my patrons: my mom, Hammer and Marco, Kat Saracata, Benjamin Schiff, Anthony Cole, Magnolia Denton, Elliot Fowler, Greg Lucina, Kojo, Phil Bates, Willow. I am the Sword, Riley Zimmerman, Claire Bear, Taylor Lindis, and the folks who'd rather be read than said. If you like this video, that's great. If you want to see more uh, suggestions below, man, I don't know. I got 28 more of these to do uh, it, this month. Good golly. I hope to see you in more of them.